So we are back with Lily Coppell, the author of The Astronaut Wives Club, this new book, and this is a true story about these women who supported their husbands as they went up in space. And I think what we're learning is that it really was this tight-knit group of women. And you said they're, talk about what they we're kind dealt of the first with. Wives when, Club a little bit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was definitely negotiating a brave new world. First of all, you're going from, you know, as one of the women said, it was as if I was living on a dark stage my whole life and suddenly someone turns on the spotlight and it sort of doesn't turn off for a yeah. decade as we get into space and we land an American on the moon. Um, but it wasn't just their lives. I mean, it was watching their husbands' lives transform dramatically as spacemen, which became our new sort of silver-suited Right. warriors and during the Cold they, War. They lived in something like the Jetsons world. Yeah, they had this little bubble world in the Houston space burbs. Literally, space tour buses would travel around their subdivisions hoping to spot an astronaut and maybe his wife and maybe their two perfect and their husbands children. Was and really they was like, in, in pl the planes. Yeah, so they, the husbands, you know, they were hot dog, alpha dog pilots. They'd ride these um, T-38s between Houston and Cape Canaveral where they trained, or Cape Kennedy later. And of course they were like rock stars. Oh, you're saying they had now yes. called groupies. Like, so like our athletes and entertainers of today, I mean these women were going after these guys. Oh yeah, So was there Major a lot of infidelity way. involved when they came back? Well, there was, you know, and it was something that wasn't really talked about at the time. Um, I think it was basically like, listen, you guys are working really hard, um, and if you need to unwind, that was sort of the general mentality at NASA. And that was, if you need to that unwind. Was, and there were lots of cake cookies too. to make it happen. That's what they call them, the cake cookies for right. the groupies. These were young, tanned women who just couldn't wait to, you know, check off to all the astronauts on their list. For the night. <laughs> so they were gone for um, for a, a large amount of time. And so these women were single moms. Yeah, you think about, you know, this 50s, 60s and that, you know, these women might be like pre-feminist. But what I found out was totally the opposite. These were like tough, strong, really modern women. They were like super moms, you know, being mom and dad during the week while the astronaut was away training. And as many of the astronauts have said, and yesterday when we had this launch party, Gene Cernan, who was the last man on the moon, he basically stole the microphone away from me and he was, he said, you know, he was like, we wouldn't have landed on the moon without these incredible women. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. You know, this sounds, just the stories you tell, I mean, I'm sure you have so many that you can't share, but this, <laughs> this sounds like a story that would be a great, like, TV series. I mean, I would watch this. Are you, know, you getting this, some interest? Yeah, from? there's a lot of, a lot of interest, you know, it's sort of a mad men goes to the moon, yeah. you know? I could see this being very scandalous, and I would hold on to every last word of no, this every week. Some of the stories that the women shared with you were a little scandalous. Yeah. I mean, there were um, bouts with alcoholism, infidelity, all sorts of things. Yeah, um, all of that. I mean, one of the saddest stories, I think, is after the Apollo 1 fire, which was sort of NASA's largest tragedy, three men um, were caught in a capsule on the ground and died. Um, one of the wives actually committed suicide. She was never able to get oh, over yeah. her husband's death. Mm. And this was something that rocked the whole community because these women were almost like a tribe of women during the week. And when a husband was lost, all of the women gathered at the widow's house. But the protocol in NASA was you can't say um, anything happened until a man or an official from NASA can let you know what happened. So all your girlfriends would be there and you'd know some terrible news was coming. But all of them just had to sort of... That's awesome. just be stoic. And, and wait. stoic. Yeah. How did you hear about this story and, and develop this passion around it? How did this it? fall into your lap? Well, I really just happened upon it by chance. I was looking at a large coffee table book one Saturday that my husband had bought. You know, it was on Apollo 11, the first moon landing. And I'm looking at Neil Armstrong planting the flag in the moon. And, you know, Buzz Aldrin in his space suit. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm having a tomboy like morning. Having a <laughs> like, space is awesome, you know, but I'm not like a space geek or anything. Thing. And then I turned a page and I saw this picture of a group of women, astro wives as they were called, I would later wow. learn. And they were in these pastel poochy mini dresses. And you're like, these women are so fabulous. fabulous. Yeah, I need to know about them. Skyrocketing beehives. <laughs> and I was beautiful. like, 
I'm sorry. You know, this is the Jackie cool. O moment. Yes. Yeah, that's the story. Yeah, and they spent a lot of time with Jackie. And they were all excited and willing to share their stories with you. Yeah, too, I needed to give them great. a little nudge, you know, and yeah. I think that's why it really worked that I was sort of their age um, when, when they were going through these life changing um, moments. So I was able to sort of, you know, tell them to let loose a bit and more. And I'm sure yeah. you've formed some friendships with them. Absolutely. Throughout this whole process. Wow. Yeah. What a well, special Lily, treat. Thank this you so awesome. much for being here. Um, again, the Astronaut Wives Club, Astronauts Wives Club is available at bookstores and online. And you can catch Lily Coppell at 11.30 a.m. today at the Adolphus in downtown Dallas. Reservations are required for this luncheon. luncheon so you want to get online and check that all out. And uh, congratulations to you. I really want to see this as a, as a TV series. I do too. I, do too. <laughs> I want to shoot these women to the moon. So thank you for helping. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. You're doing it. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, more broadcast when we return. Stick with us.